All right, so now we're gonna unveil all the potential of ChatGPT4. Let me show you how it works. All right, so uh, let's open chat room. Here I will change version to four. Okay, then you can open whatever. For example, uh, let's find some uh, child drawings. Let's uh, go just, okay, child drawings. Okay, there we go. We can select whatever we like. Um, yeah, for example, this one. And then see, I'm just copying this image, copy image, and then go to chat GPT and then paste. And then I'll give it a prompt. I would, would like it to elaborate on this image and to give a detailed description of this image. Please describe in details what do you see in this image. Okay. All right. This is a colorful child's drawing. You see family and their home in front of the house for human figures. So yeah, it's actually a cool description. It's a perfect detailed description. On the right hand side of the image, there is small brown and orange stripe cat walking. <laughs> perfect. Okay. So yeah, so we can ask, describe the image. We can ask, for example, to write a story about this image and then ChatGPT will work just in its text version as usually. I would like to ask him to actually to redraw this image. That's quite interesting. So for example, I would like a photorealistic image of this uh, that looks like a photograph. So just, I will write redraw, redraw this image to make it photorealistic. Photorealistic. I will click regenerate. There we go, look, wow, such a positive shiny picture. Uh, it took about two minutes to draw this picture. So just be patient and keep waiting. But the picture looks very good, yeah. And if we compare it with uh, with the initial drawing, well, there were four people, here is three. There was a cat and here is a cat. There was a house, the sun and the tree. So this is the house, this is sun, this is tree. So basically ChatGPT redraws pretty high quality. There are some minor errors, but it's really fantastic. All right, so what else can we do? Let's, for example, let's say, uh, draw a design project for a landing page, right? We were speaking so much about business and marketing and particular landing. There was one of our lessons. So let's ask ChatGPT to draw a design project for landing. Uh, first, I'll search on Google, design project, design project, landing page. Okay, uh, images. Okay, and let's select something. I will select this one. I don't know, this is a cat or who? Let's make a design project for landing page that advertises subscription for cat food, okay? So, there is copy, copy image, and then control V paste. All right, let's wait. Okay, and then we'll type, make a design project, design project, uh, based on touch picture for landing page advertising cat food there we go okay it generates image look at this so chat offered two options this or this we can we can expand here you see cover perfection well uh, it may make typos but compared for example to Midjourney, which usually writes some non-sensual text at all here is almost no typos you know uh, this is something where you can start working from so just correct this typos, it's not so difficult. Okay, close it. Let's open this one. Perfect fiction, okay, yes. You can also make some minor corrections here. Yeah, so see, two design concepts for a premium cat food. Wow, I, I even didn't expect that, but the quality is so good. Even if you see some imperfections here, but this is a basis with which you can already work. And yes, this, this is just invaluable source of ideas. Here you see this clip where we can attach a file. So let's just experiment with it. ChatGPT can read PDF files, Word, text files, PowerPoint presentations. So let's just select something and see. I will go to downloads folder and select some PDF file. There are some PDF articles, for example, this one. Let's open it. Okay, before I write prompt for ChatGPT. I would like to open this article first and read what is it about. Mm -hmm. This is the article. 
fabrication and statistical optimization of a polysaccharide-based sublingual film of buprenorphine hydrochloride for breakthrough pain management in vitro and in vivo performance. Like when you are reading, you can barely speak this out. You know, you are reading and say, what? Sublingual in vitro in, in vivo? What is that? So let's ask ChatGPT, right? A short, uh, write a short description about this article, but in such terms that it would be understandable for mere humans. Okay, so let's go back to chat GPT. Uh, please uh, describe this article, article in one paragraph, paragraph uh, in lay terms, so that its content, content will be comprehensible for everyone. Okay. Okay, the article discusses the new way to manage severe sudden pain episodes often related to cancer. Uh-huh. Uh by using a medicine then the name of the medicine, but it's not the usual pill or injection or injection form. Instead they made a film that dissolves under the tongue. Okay, so yeah, th that's a clear description. So this is not a pill. This is not an injection. You just take it through your mouth under the tongue. And that should help you to cope with pain. Perfect. Another thing, for example, let's uh, ask ChatGPT to read the presentation. I can upload the presentation from uh, one of our previous lessons. Let's take a look. So, do you remember this lesson about Chinese room principle? How ChatGPT processes information? Let's let's ask to describe this lesson now, just based on the PowerPoint presentation. All right. So I will go and attach it. Now let's go to lesson three. There we go. Okay, describe what is this presentation about. No worries, regenerate. Look at this, perfect, yeah. So ChatGPT just, just laid out everything. All the lessons outline just in less than a minute. Yep. So these cool capabilities of ChatGPT, you can use them in your daily life, in your work. You see how easily ChatGPT4 can understand different file formats. PDF, text, PowerPoint, images, and that takes just minutes. So it can save a lot of time and boost your performance. Take advantage of that.